and it will take well 70 years to build the extraordinary dome. You know that we have two domes, one inside and one outside, and the space between the two domes with the stairs to let the people reach the top. Can you see by the balcony the people looking at the massive structure of it, of the church? Can you see how small they look like in front of you? Imagine that the dome has been then painted with the frescoes by Giorgio Vasari, so the same architect of the Fizzi, and also by students Federico Zuccheri. And what do we have? We have the uh, representation of the last judgment. You see, it's the day of the parousia, the end of the world. Have you noticed that Jesus Christ is standing by the sun? The sun is the symbol of Christ, and Jesus Christ is opening up his right hand, um, inviting the people to resurrect, but with the left one is punishing the people, the one that will go to hell. It's the end of the day. Now, it's very funny to know that Mr. Giorgio Vasari will be in charge of that, and he will have, if he had a very good deal, how does it work in the past? It works that you will be paid not for the entire painting, but for how many person you will paint. That's why it's so busy up there. That's why we have so many people. And when he had the, um, he was painting all the figures, there was a moment when he was running out of idea for new faces. And so he started to go in the street and taking quickly portraits of the people, of the friends they may know. And at the very end, they came to the point that they had to paint the people in hell, the one that are located down below, on the left and on the right. And so, Mr. Giorgio Vasari and the student decided to have in hell all the artists, all the other painters, all the other competitors, their colleagues, let's say like this, all down there. Um, if you will be with me to the left hand side, 